Harry hasn't returned to Montecito following the coronation. He went to San Francisco and then to watch a polo match. The Duke of Sussex flew immediately back to the US following the coronation ceremony. Harry spent a total of 28 hours and 42 minutes in the United Kingdom during his brief trip to witness his father being crowned as king, according to the Daily Mail. The flight from Heathrow direct to Los Angeles landed just before 6.30pm local time. But Harry didn't go home to Montecito last night, he went to San Francisco, where he's rumoured to be staying after separating with Meghan. That fits with the ridiculous pictures of his wife hiking without him on Sunday. She was with Marcus. If she's still with Harry, why is she with this guy, whoever it is? Secondly, Meghan is so in love with Harry and supportive that they haven't been photographed together without it being staged in over eight months. The first outing is her rejecting being kissed by her own husband. Something is brewing. Moreover, she wore so much jewellery and accessories when hiking, but with no engagement ring. She wore her diamond pinky ring from a Saudi prince. Harry didn't stay to have lunch with his father on the big day. He apparently can't stand the atmosphere at the ceremony when he doesn't have any importance. He didn't see his son on his birthday, which was allegedly why he raced to Heathrow to jump on a plane for 11 hours. Maybe Harry's trying to hide something. During the coronation, Prince Harry talked to Jack about around 4pm tomorrow. Basically, 4pm Sunday was the start of the Pope Challenge Polo Finals in Santa Barbara. They played the elimination games on the 5th, took the 6th off, and played the championship on the Sunday. Remember that picture of a newspaper article where they'd asked back when it was Ah, uh, aren't they going? Harry's Polo Club if Harry was going to be playing in the games this weekend. They said that he hadn't confirmed one way or the other. A source close to Nacho said that he was there but he took five hours to drive from Santa Barbara. That proved how he loves polo but he didn't join the polo match, he just watched it. The Duke of Sussex didn't play any part in the coronation celebrations apart from his appearance at Westminster Abbey. Prince Harry kicked off Saturday by leaving Frogmore Cottage almost certainly for the last time following King Charles's decision to evict the Sussexes from the property. Harry entered the cavernous church in a black custom Dior three-piece suit with coattails. An honorary cross hung around his neck and military medals were pinned to the left side of his chest. He nodded, waved and spoke a few words to the clergy and several guests already seated. Prince Harry was a complete outsider at King Charles's coronation. He came alone and left alone. It seems that those who were hoping for a reconciliation between Prince Harry and his brother during the coronation would have been disappointed. There was no interaction or communication between the siblings throughout the ceremony, suggesting that their relationship remained strained.